Hi there. <laughs> this is Bridget from the Planner Speechy. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be planning for April 24th through the 30th in my Sadie Stickers Vertical Planner. I am dealing with a little shortness of breath, which hopefully I can explain in the <laughs> excuse me in the voiceover. So I'm not going to talk too much right now, but these are the kits I'm going to be using. Um, this kit is from Jessica Hartz, and uh, technically it's an Easter kit, but it's not Easter week, but I'm going to use it anyway. Um, this art came out last year. I really thought it was beautiful. So I'm also going to be using this page turner overlay, but this technically goes with um, this kit but I'm actually gonna use this overlay for this kit. So this is gonna be what I use for this one. I'm gonna be pulling in some extra foiled stickers from Sadie Stickers, and then this freebie is actually from last year, but it works with the color scheme, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Anyway, I'm gonna get into it and speed things up, so keep watching. All right, so this was the craziest week and I could not have anticipated what was going to happen at all, but here we go. So this was the week after, not the week after the cruise, but, but the following week. Um, so here I am, I'm just using Charlotte Paper Company foiled date dots to add a little bit of bold sparkle to this spread. Um, I love the art in this kit. I know this is, I don't usually purchase kits where I can get the art digitally, but I did for this one and I, I'm glad I did. It was really pretty and I got it on sale. So I used, I had just used a Jessica Hearts kit, the previous plan with me for the cruise week. And I, I just skipped planning for the week of April 17th through the 23rd. It was just too much. I had just come back from a trip. I was trying to get readjusted to my schedule. And so I just skipped a week in my planner. And I just want to normalize that because I feel like a lot of times we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to make our weeks look perfect or to make things look exactly. And I know I say this as I'm using tweezers to place stickers. So it's a little hypocritical. But like, if you don't feel like doing it, don't. <laughs> I think it's completely healthy and normal to just skip a week if you need to. So I am trying to place all of the full, box, full boxes here. This was technically themed as an Easter kit, although I know a lot, most of the art is not Easter related. So I just didn't. <laughs> um but it was really fun putting the art for this down. And I decided I wasn't going to use the Easter sticker, but I ended up using it anyway <laughs> at the end of the sidebar because didn't really go into a lot. So this week started out as kind of a normal, semi-normal school week. The only difference was a lot of my students were taking MAP testing. So MAP stands for Measure assessment of progress and it is the required standardized test for the state of North Carolina. So I just put an overlay on that that says just one more chapter. It's kind of hard to read on that graphic but I still like it. And then I used the really pretty. It's not a floor de lis but it kind of looks like that on the bottom. I think it came out nicely. Um, and then these are just sort of some accents. This has kind of a Marie Antoinette trying to pull off cottagecore vibe to it when I add all the gold stuff on top. So I like that. But this week started out, and you can't really see, it says this week. Actually, you can see it a lot better in this video than you can in real life. <laughs> um, but I put the weekly tracker down to mark my vitamins. and. I was trying to use as many of the stickers that came with the kit as possible. I even, 
I was trying to figure out where I wanted to put all these extra full boxes. Believe it or not, that full box did not come with the kit, and I think it went so well. It was eerie. Um, so I ended up just marking. I had this weird little amount of space left. I had just enough for two flags, although they are kind of off kilter. Yeah. But that's okay. They still look nice. Um, so I used the flags to mark just like the theme of this week, which happened to be, uh, well, we'll get to it. So Monday I had like a normal schedule. I was, and I decided to use all the check boxes for this kit. Um, and I was trying to color block. So you can see I'm matching the check blocks to the headers at the, up at the top. And this actually worked for the most part. I was able to color block for the whole week. I'm, I'm impressed that I was able to do that, actually. Usually I run out of stickers by Thursday, and so the, the weekend doesn't end up good. But anyway, okay. So I'm just marking that I was tracking my vitamins. and. Uh, I put in a little sticker to note that, it, that, that there was map testing. Um, so my husband had a doctor's appointment on Monday, and we only have one car, so that means he has to drive me to work and pick me up, which is a huge pain for him because I have to get up super early, and then he then has to dro drive through traffic each way twice. It's just a pain. So I don't know what we're going to do about that in the future, but anyway, so this was a crazy week. I found out that my allotment had changed, and I thought I was going to be at the same two schools that I have been with for the past two years, and they put me at a different elementary school for my second school. So I am losing my middle school students, and that is heartbreaking, mostly because I've spent the last two years building a relationship with them but to be honest I am not crazy about working in a middle school environment it's not the kids the kids are great I even like the speech therapy it's just managing in a middle school environment is challenging because I don't feel like we get as much support from administration in the middle school setting as I as we do in the elementary school setting and even though I feel like the day-to-day -day is a lot easier in the middle school setting, it's not something, it's not an environment that's like stress-free. There's a lot of drama between all the students. There's a lot of behavioral stuff that happens that's more intense in middle school. And so it's not my favorite. So I'm kind of looking forward to having two elementary schools. I want you to note I had written um, that I was feeling really tired and this is a clue. I didn't realize quite what this meant, but I was so exhausted when I came home. I was like genuinely off the wall, tired. And I had taken the day off the Thursday before because I had woken up feeling really ill, but I sort of got over it pretty quickly. Um, so we watched Succession and West Wing. Um, and then on Tuesday, I had speech therapy at the middle school. I had a hearing screening and a speech language screening at the elementary school, so I had to go back and forth. I had an SLP meeting virtually at 2 p.m. And so I called my friend back um, who had called me a couple of days earlier and I wasn't able to talk to her. I made this incredible dinner on Tuesday night and I couldn't taste any of it. And it really freaked me out. And earlier on Monday, I was given some smelly markers and I couldn't really figure out like what was going on there. So I had COVID tests in my desk at school, but I didn't have any at home. So I went to school on Wednesday morning and I, as a fluke, I took a test thinking, okay, it's probably going to be negative. It was positive. So I managed to escape. COVID for the majority of the pandemic until literally they had just lifted 
the official pandemic being over, I think about a week or two after I caught it. But so I was told to go home for three days um, and to self quarantine. I was sort of in shock and a little pissed off because I didn't know how this happened. But um, I ordered a bunch of materials from Amazon, things that I now realize, you know, if if I had gotten this earlier and had not had those materials would have been devastating. Things like tissues, masks, um, extra tests, things like that. So I was able to get all of that immediately the same day, which is remarkable. Um, I did do my IEP meetings this whole week. So I wasn't allowed to be in school, but I was able to do them virtually. And that was really great. I did let all my coworkers know. Uh, I did have my regular Zoom with my friend, um, but I self-isolated in my home. So I took the master bedroom and the master bath. I sort of commandeered those things. I ordered all kinds of disposable cutlery and things like that. I didn't, I didn't go anywhere in my house for those three first three days, um, and it was kind of sad. I was very lonely. Um, the next day but I did a lot of work like I did my session notes I wrote a report um, I ended up going to a virtual appointment and they recommended an inhaler for me which was instrumental in those first days because I really didn't have any symptoms until Thursday when I had severe shortness of breath obviously I'd had some shortness of breath when I was filming that plan with me um, on the 23rd which, and you can hear it in my voice, that there's something off. Um, and you can still hear it now, uh, a month later, that I don't fully have use of my voice yet, which is very scary because I'm a speech therapist. Um, but I was able to attend a virtual IEP at 7 a.m. <laughs> and I wrote another report. I did more notes. I talked to my mom. And I planned for next week. But it was just lonely. I watched Encanto and Moana. I watched a lot of Disney movies. Um, I watched Moana in Ma in original Maori, which, is, which exists. <laughs> um, so I was pretty miserable. But um, I actually delved into Ancestry.com. I decided I was going to take this opportunity to research my family roots and holy cow, I found out some really cool stuff about my family tree going back 11 generations. And I even know the name of the ship that they went on and I mean it's very, very cool stuff. So I actually do recommend Ancestry and if I can put an affiliate link in the bottom I will because I think it's a really cool thing and it was a fun project, something to distract me. Um. I also started doing like diamond painting on coasters. I, I got really creative because I was bored out of my skull. Um, I watched a lot of Finding Your Roots. I watched a lot of TV. Um, I read a lot of library books at home. My husband put together our lawnmower and we were able, he was able to use it for the first time. Um, by Saturday, I was feeling a lot better. I did go downstairs wearing my mask, and I sat on the opposite side of the room from my husband. We had the air, you know, the windows open, the air on. He never got it. He never got COVID. To this day, he has never tested positive, and I think he's an amazing human. So I don't know where I got it. I, I, it may have, I may have gotten it from a child who went somewhere on vacation, and um, I have no idea. So, um, on Sunday, I updated IEP, I made coffee with gloves on, I remember that. I wore gloves anytime I went anywhere in the house, just so I wouldn't accidentally track something on a surface. Um, I did try and film more plan with me's, knowing that I wasn't going to be able to talk very much, and I had some pretty severe Sunday scaries, because I was very nervous about having missed three days, although I worked throughout all of those days. And my kids were map testing, so I didn't miss as many students as I would have. 
and that was really good. <laughs> I also didn't expose myself to as many students as I could have, and that was really good. Um, now, I was worried because the very next week, I knew I was going to have to wear a mask while doing speech therapy, and that was a real challenge as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's get back to the overall view. So I was able to use basically every sticker in this kit. I have a couple of those. This was my most saved, and honestly, these can be used other times. This whole sheet, basically gone. And then even the freebie sheet. So I think I did a really good job utilizing as many of these stickers as I could. Thank you so much for watching and uh, please stick around for next time.